So much going on. It's worth a quick update on some of the newest model data pointing to what could be one heck of a winter storm across parts of the Northern Rockies, maybe into Saskatchewan and Manitoba. This one needs to be watched. We're going to talk about that, plus a little bit about this East Coast storm. And let's just talk about what's happening here. Surface low pressure developing in a region where the water temperatures across the ocean are in the 80s. Now, National Hurricane Center not keeping an eye on this. There is some bare clinicity. That temperature difference likely driving this storm. you got an upper low back here, almost centered directly across Erie, PA, with surface low pressure developing right along the coast. I'm afraid that this upper low will want to yank this thing in, and it's going to have a lot of wind with it, a lot of rain with a coastal storm. Let's just hope that this thing can stay out to sea. You don't need this type of setup with a lot of coastal flooding, high waves, and whatnot. Let's talk about what's happening across the West. I've been talking about this right here for the last several days. My mind is growing uh, I guess it's hooking in stronger with the idea that something could be developing here. Three pieces of energy, moisture from the south, a decent piece of energy across the west, and we're watching some really cold air dive in from Alaska. That's going to change rain to snow across the Northwest Territories. It's going to bring some colder air into parts of Alaska and into British Columbia, eventually into northern parts of Alberta as we head into Friday and Saturday, changing that rain to snow. Not a, a lot of snow, I think, into places like Calgary, but if this surface low develops on the east side of the mountains here into Montana, we could get some heavy snow here into parts of the northern Rockies, into parts of Idaho, north into the uh, border here between British Columbia and Alberta. And then look, surface low pressure showing up on the evening run of the GFS with a big snowstorm. I'm going to tell you something. This is just one run of the GFS. If I were to go to back to the midday run, which uses more data, doesn't look quite as cold. It doesn't look quite as robust. But look, it's still here. This could be an early October snowstorm here on the prairies as we're watching winter take hold here across western Canada. And those of you across the lower 48, I know you're warm, but look, that cold is getting closer and closer. And the more snow we can put down here, the colder we start to get across this part of the continent. And we set up for, I think, what could be a cold start to winter heading into December. This isn't the winter weather outlook. We do that at least once a week. Another one's coming up. So if you've not subscribed, I hope you will. But look at this right here, guys. This is the potential of seeing more than six inches of snow. This uses more than 50 members. And you can see that starting to grow here. Some areas 40 to 50 percent across parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba. And of course, higher back into the mountains of Montana. Uh, also, western Alberta down into Wyoming. So some big snow on the way. The operational GFS this evening going nuts here with some big snow. Uh, if you were to go back earlier today, it's why I don't like to look at these operational runs. You, if you hug any particular model run, you're going to go nuts. This is the early morning run. This is last night's run. But the storm is still there. It's still showing up on, on the overall model guidance. It looks a little different on the European and the GFS. At this point, I think it's too early to dial it in for next Monday. But watch this. And then once we get beyond this, you know, what happens? It looks like it stays cold across this part of North America across the rest of the lower 48 once the storm moves by again i don't know what's going to happen with this low pressure here this coastal low as we head into monday and tuesday it may end up going out to sea but what if it just hangs around we could be dealing with some big problems here along the east coast and then look another storm trying to show up behind this first one that moves through montana maybe more cold maybe more snow across this region more to come see you next time